What's up sub fans and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get the best and the cheapest brake upgrade on your Saab 93. So I bought this kit used. These brakes are from a 93 Aero. It's the 340 millimeter brake discs with the calipers. And these calipers are super good upgrade compared to the standard one. I think the original brake disc on the the Linear and the Vector is 302 millimeters in the front, I think. And the calipers are smaller. They these brakes does break a lot better, so you could go for the bigger 345 millimeter Turbo X brakes, which I did on my last 95. But this is also a great upgrade, and this is much much cheaper than to buy the Turbo X brakes. And this kit could be fitted to 95s from 2002 and onwards. Uh, you just need a, a different brake line and then it will be good to go just straight bolt on and you can mount it on the previous uh, from O2 and down but then you will need a adapter for the calipers so it could be fitted but it takes a little more work these brakes are bolt on to the NG93 it's the same brake lines and everything so it's just to bolt it on so this kit I bought for around 100 euros which isn't much at all and the calipers are in quite decent condition it just needs some new paint same with the discs they are not used very much and the pads still has some meat to them so I'm just gonna sand them off and make the edges a little more nice and then this will work for a while. Of course it would be nice to go with some slotted discs and some better brake pads but that is something for the future. This is really cheap and it's the most bang for the buck. So we're gonna start with some painting of this and see how it turns out.
feels like I have shown you a thousand times how to change the brakes and the discs but here it is once again this time the calipers are a straight bolt on so there's nothing to it but just to exchange the parts and put it back together in the same order you disassemble it the first thing I'm doing is putting a clamp on the brake line so we don't lose too much brake fluid then it's just to start I usually loosen up everything a little bit so I know that I could get everything loose so the bolt the banjo bolt for the brake line just loosen it a little bit and then tighten it back down again so when the caliper is off it's easy to remove it then I'm just removing the the bolts that holds the the caliper carrier and it sits with a E20 Torx so it's pretty easy just to disassemble that then pull out the caliper and put everything back in in the same order that you disassemble it so here we go This is what happens if you ignore to change the discs and just change the pads once in a while then you end up with a pretty solid edge around the disc and then it's impossible to get the disc to get the pads off I don't know how they got this on but and it also was impossible to to get the piston back into the caliper so a real hassle but now it's off the new disc versus the old disc the old discs are 302 millimeters and this is 314 and this is the new caliper and this is the old one these two compared to each other this one looks like a rear caliper quite a difference so to make the bigger caliper and the bigger disc to fit we need to cut this off so that the bigger caliper could fit over it and then we just need to cut this and bend it up a little bit because the disc is it just fits inside here but it rubs a little bit so we have to to modify it just a little bit disassemble the the brake line always new, use new washers to keep it sealed perfectly so you don't have any leakage
So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I think the brakes works quite nice. This is just the first step. Of course you could build on and upgrade the pads and upgrade the rotors but now it's on and it's such an upgrade for very little money so it's a nice upgrade. So I hope you like this and be sure to check out for the next video and I will see you soon again. Bye!